bringing you Thailand's insights, direction, stability, prosperity, and sustainability. Let's get inside. Gain the insight with The Insider. สวัสดีครับ and welcome to The Insider. I am now at the bank of the Chao Phraya River, the Rivers of King. It is very important river. It is the artery of the Thai people's life. Now Thailand is moving along the three phases roadmap in order to become a fully functioning democratic country, and of course, our democracy would be sustainable. We are at the process of the charter drafting, which is very important to move forward. We are about to find out more on this detail with our special guest today. It is an honor to have Ambassador n o r a c h i t Singh Hasani, a member and a spokesperson of the Constitution Drafting Commission, with us. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ My first question to you would be, what are the key characteristics of the draft charter that make this one is so unique and so special uh, compared to the previous charters? The main characteristics, one that was given by the media, it is a uh, has been dubbed the anti-corruption uh, constitution. By that, it means uh, the draft. Will prevent those that are corrupt, be they politicians or government officials, from remaining in their positions. Those that have been proven corrupt or have been uh, put on trial, and the courts have decided that they have uh, committed wrongdoings, will be prevented from uh, participating in political activities. Basically, being banned for life. I think that is the major. Uh, characteristics and something that the Thai people are looking forward to seeing. The second characteristic, I would say, is the issue of rights and freedoms. I think this constitution guarantees the rights and freedoms of the Thai people, as well as those that are not Thais but living in Thailand. I don't think uh, any constitution provides such uh, protection. To people who are not Thai nationals, as this draft constitution, and again, the uniqueness is the new chapter that is not only guarantees freedoms and and rights of the Thai people, but we have put it as the duty of the state to provide such uh, necessary uh, services as public health and education. And the third and final one, I think, uh, we have come through a very difficult time, so the issue of reform is very important. And this particular constitution has a special chapter on reform: reform of the judiciary and the police, reform of education, reform of the economy, and most importantly, I think it puts a time frame. In the past, many other constitution provided. That the state or the national uh, parliament has to enact new laws, but there were no specific time frames. In this particular constitution, if the state or the parliament fails to act, there are uh, clauses that will indicate what will happen if they do not follow the constitution. So I think these are the three main characteristics that I, I feel. Is quite unique for this constitution. Well, anti-corruption is one of very important issue that this government has placed as the uh, national agenda. And other topic or the other issue that is very interesting, it is um, the duty of state. So, what made these charters uh, so unique and special from the others? What this constitution has tried to do is to go one step further. In the past, uh, if any group. Or any community wishes to be uh, sure that their rights and freedom are protected, they would have to fight for it. They would have to protest. They would have to call on the government, the parliament, to enact such laws. We've seen it in the past. What this draft constitution has done is, we have seen that such a constitution, time has passed. 
many laws that have already been uh, enacted for residents environment. You now have uh, EIAs, you all have the studies before any project can be implemented. So rather than having to go back to those times where you had to fight for your rights and freedoms, this constitution created a new chapter called the duty of the state. It is not the power of the state, but the duty, duty. the duty of the state. So have this been informed to, to the public? We have tried to make this uh, widely known as possible. And that is where we have encountered criticism because some people do not read the whole constitution. They read the chapter on rights and freedoms and they feel that some things are missing. But you need to read the whole constitution. When you get to the chapter on the duty of the state, you will see that on the issue of education, on the issue of public health, this is provided by the state, not the power of the state. The state does not have any uh, decision-making process. They must provide this. They must provide education. They must provide public health. It is clear what the state needs to do. If the state fails to do it, the people, community, can petition them to do it. If they still fail to do it, they can take the government to court. That is, you can sue the government. What would be the benefit uh, that this constitution would, be, uh, would provide to the people? The constitution will be able to pave the way for the Thai people, the country, to return to democracy. I think we need definite rules and, and, and uh, the way to go forward. The constitution will provide the uh, rough guidelines there will be additional laws that need to be enacted. That is number one. Number two, I think the Thai people can be quite certain that their rights and freedoms are protected. Number three, as we were talking about the reform, I think there is common understanding that the country needs reform in many sectors to be able to return to democracy, to be able to compete in the international community in order to, to maintain the progress of the country, to maintain stability and grow the economy. So the constitution is the framework that will allow for all this. I think what is important for the people to realize is, number one, uh, they can be sure that their rights and, and freedoms are protected. Number two, they will be freely uh, able to elect the next government through the ballot box. I think that is most important. And number three, we hope that the charter will be able to bring about a better government in, in the sense that the government will be responsive to the needs of the people and not seek power just, just to enrich themselves and their cronies or their followers. I think that is something that the Thai people want to see a clean government. Well, one thing that's very important is the social disparity. Will this new charter resolve you know, this issue to reduce the social disparity? Well, it attempts to do so. I don't think you can solve the issue overnight, but uh, as examples, uh, education. Uh, now, the education will be provided even at the preschool level, free of charge, so I think that is one important point where you don't have to be uh, rich to send your children to kindergarten. So what this charter does is to create parity there. Number one, you don't have to spend money to send your children to kindergarten. Also on public health, everyone will be entitled to uh, health services provided by the state. It may be through some insurance scheme, uh, the uh, gold card, the uh, social uh, security, or the prakan uh, sangkom, all that will remain. But the emphasis is on those in need, those with disability, those who are in poverty, those people will be 
receiving assistance from the state. That is assured. Well, it seems to me that the CDC maintains that the new charter would have to respond to the uniqueness of the Thai society. But what about the international concern or universal concern? Well, we have been very careful because that is the term of reference that was given to us by the uh, NCPO that while drafting this constitution, it should reflect the uniqueness of Thai society or Thai political traditions. But at the same time, it must adhere to international uh, standards. What we have done is to look at our own constitution. We have compared it to our international obligations. The most important one would be the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The other one, which uh, Thailand is a party to, is the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. We are a party to it. When we completed our constitution drafting process, we went through the uh, convention to see that all the rights and freedoms are protected on your individual rights, your rights to uh, practice any religion, the rights to your own home, uh, rights to, to, to education, every particular uh, issue on rights and freedoms, we have ensured that they correspond to the international covenant. So I think in that sense, we are quite sure that our draft constitution is up to international standard, if that is the point. What would be your key message to the people regarding the new charter? Two short points. Uh, number one, the constitution, like all documents, is just a document. It is the highest uh, law in the land, but it provides the framework. Whether it will be workable, whether the Thai politics can change, whether we have a responsible government, a clean government, depends on those that utilize it. Uh, if politicians can think of the uh, overall uh, picture and, and the uh, country and the people as a whole and be able to compromise and be able to uh, work together uh, not just to retain power or keep power. I think that is the most important one. No document can do that. Only the people can do that, particularly the politicians. And number two, for the Thai people who will be participating in the referendum on the 7th, uh, I would urge you to, to find out what in your mind is the most important or vital uh, provisions for you. Is it your rights and freedoms? Is it your ability to elect your own representative and the government? And seek the answer by yourself. Don't listen to anyone. You may listen to them and have questions in your head, but try to find out and don't be misled by anyone. Just uh, find as much information as you can. It's all out there. In, in the internet, in the websites, in documents that the National Election Commission will be sending to you in your household. Just read it and make up your own mind what is best for the country. And with this, I believe that uh, we would be able to achieve our goal, that is Thailand having security, stability and sustainability. We all wish that. Sadiqab Ambassador Rashid. Well, thank you for watching us and please stay tuned for our next episode. You will get insight from Thailand Deputy Prime Minister on the issue of Thai justice reform. See you next week and Sodi Club. We understand that every society needs law. Many of the law are outdated. We have too many laws. <laughs>